done that already and I've kind of floated it, but somebody was asking the other day, you know, what if you are in the process of floating and it is too big, how do you do that? So what you're gonna do is you're wanting to get out of your embroidery setting off mode, press uh, okay. And then you're actually gonna go into your set down here and you are gonna go to where it says, I know you can't see that. Let me see if this makes it any better. Yeah, it doesn't show very well. So please forgive me. I don't have the technology. It's just blurred there. So I'm going to have to just talk you through. But you'll go in. Let's X out of this. You go into where it says set. And it, you can flip it in there. And it says where it says X. And Y coordinates 100, that is where you can enlarge it or make it smaller. And so we are just going to go down just a little bit. So you hit clear, and we're going to go down about 97. And we're going to go back down on 97 on that one. Clear, 97. Okay. And so then that will shrink it down a little bit. And then you hit okay. Sandy Hush. So that's shrink it down. So we're going to exit out. Now we're going to go to our set start. Hit OK because that's going to put us into em embroidery mode. Ah. All right. Well, let me know what you need help with and I'll help you best I can. Okay. So now that has set it. And um, I do have a couple marks on here and I did have it centered. Looks like it's still centered. So I am actually gonna do a float test. <clears throat> and I don't always, don't put the foot down all the way because if you're doing a float test and it goes back and you get too far to the frame, you can actually bend the foot. So you wanna make sure you don't put it down all the way. But I put it down some so that I can watch. And at that time, when you're doing the float or the set start, you should see the, um, not when you're floating, but you should see the laser when you're doing the set start. That's the only time I've really seen the laser work, which is one of the downfalls. Uh, I wish it did. There we go, up there. We are good there. And we're coming back up to the top. Yeah, I got about a quarter inch. It's going to be close. <laughs> like pushing the limits. All right. So. So we I have it all put in and programmed for my threads. Um, normally on towels of certain density, um, you want to make sure that you put water soluble on there. I watched a video earlier today. And she had big letters and she didn't. So I'm going to try without, because you know, that does all this does add up over time as well. And, you know, these are fairly big letters. They shouldn't sink too bad into the towel because um, normally that's why you use the water soluble, because it will help it stay on top. And um, so but this is what I am working on. Of course, the colors are a little bit different on this particular towel. And I am using tearaway, which sometimes you probably should use, depending, you just got to experiment. Um, you can use cutaway, but I am using uh, tearaway today. So um, I've got it set where I want it to go. And I am going to lower the speed down just a little bit when I get started. Just to make sure, started it. I got underlined thread from a different color coming through up through the 
little thing there. All right. So. All right. And normally you want to use a ballpoint for your stretchy fabrics. Um, I haven't put any ballpoints on there, but these are what you can get at um, All Stitch um, or other places. But I did find these on All Stitch. Um, I have only broke one needle since I've gotten my machine. It'll be a year that I've had it, and this is it. actually like at the end of this month. It'll be a year since I've had my machine. So, yep, seventy five eleven. So, um, but you know, it's it's fun with the stuff that we can do. You gotta think outside of the box, different ways. Did uh, last yesterday? I did the little cubby bear. Hang on. Um, I did the little cubby bear yesterday in a video, and this is going to my best friend. She has a, a client that she wants to give it to, that just have a baby, um, and hooping these things, <laughs> trying to just do it on a flat surface. It's not real easy, so I use the end of my ironing board where it's a little bit narrow, which I think worked out really well. So um, you can do anything you let your imagination do. Okay. And so then I recently, my coworkers are keeping me busy too. Um, I recently monogrammed some bandana, bandana uh, baby bibs for her and they are so cute i thought oh those are cute i want to try and put them on my sp page okay come on there we go and so um i have that monogram all set up Well, biggest challenge that I've had so far is I had when I first got the machine, I kept having issues with the tension and birds nesting. And the other night, I actually had another issue with the bird nesting. But um, underneath the throat plate, you know where that cuts the thread and everything. If you don't clean that out, it's going to not cut right, and it's going to cost more bird's nest. I took the top plate off, and I was like, okay, let's not forget, maintenance is very important. And once a month, you need to do that is take that plate off, make sure all the threads are cleared out. Um, so that was, but bird's nesting has been the biggest challenge. Um, and of course, I, I want another machine already. Isn't that terrible? Even though I'm not like making buku bucks, <laughs> I, I want another machine and stuff. So, all right. But here is one of the bandana bibs that she her she purchased for the shower gift, and I just love <clears throat> the buffalo. And then. There's a green one. And then I want to spend more money on different types of hoops, too. <laughs> you know, you want to make this as easy as possible. Hello. You want to make this as easy as possible. And if you're doing this as a business, you want to be uh, production is time is money. And so if you have hoops that are hooping quicker, then that's awesome. Um, so. And of course, you know, we all want to be successful. Like, no, oh, I can't think of the, the big lady that's on SD. There's a couple of them that I like to watch. Um, Jasmine, uh, 
is doing sublimation, she's doing embroidery, she's doing blanks, you know, and I'm trying to get into all that too, but you know, I'm on a limited budget. So wanting to spend money is another <laughs> another thing that is uh, a little bit of a challenge. All right. So, and then there's this color and then this one. And I put a C on it with a rope around it because, you know, kind of Western-y style. And it was so cute. And so I'm going to work on some of those later. And uh, then I, I just got some white ones. And I got, I got these off of Amazon. I need to start putting links up there and stuff for things that I find. And so it's a plain white one. And so I want to monogram it with this. This is the pre-done design. Of course, I'm going to change the gray to a little bit lighter. So I think that's going to be really pretty on that. And then, so those are the projects that I want to do tonight. You know, I, I had enough to where I didn't have to make payment. They don't, they don't do financing, but, you know, I had enough to where I could just pay cash for it and I don't have to make payments. So, and then uh, finding blanks and everything, I get a little carried away because I'll get another idea and then I'll go, oh God, that's so cool. I want to do that. Um, and Facebook is, uh, let's see. Here's another recently uh, got and put together. I'm going to put this on a quilt. Then there was this one, a little cute little elephant for boys. And all right, give me just a second. We're going to go back over here so I can set the computer down. I, I know. Oh, gosh. Stitch Delight has so many cute things. They have these. Um, another one I got was there's a deer. And, I mean, you can make these beautiful pillows. And then I got these cute little mouse. And I spend too much money on that. But I found these pre-quilted. It's a 36 by 46. And everybody is going crazy with putting a design designs on these. Because you don't need... Any real backing because they're they're thick enough and stable. Uh, you could just do your embroidery design. So, and they have different colors. This is white. I got cream. Did I get that color? Let me go look. I didn't. I just got cream, but they come in blue and they come in pink and they come in, uh, I think, navy and stuff. So, like, I like this. I like that. I paid $13 plus shipping. So, that's pretty good uh, if you think about it. Because a yard of fabric, of nice fabric, you're going to pay $12.95. And this is, I know that they're coming over from China. Yeah, they're coming over from China. But to actually have it all done and the binding and everything. And you can just, and some people are like putting something in every one of these things. So, I can't remember the name of the group that the lady's selling them. I would like to get enough people to maybe just get them myself, and because uh, I found uh, them on Ali Alibaba and stuff. The wash away Salty on top, or the, the smaller pin at least. The name uh, we'll see. 
but this does have some fine details in it, and that's. But I figured I'd make it for my niece first, and then if it turns out, we'll go from there and hopefully sell some. Um, all right. Anybody have questions or anything uh, that I might be able to help and lead and, and guide you with? Oh, and two, another place I, I watched Walmart clearance. You can get watch for stuff. Uh, there's another project I want to try. I've seen this done on Wacoma videos, and I got these for like nine bucks, eight dollars and fifty cents for a test run. To see, because I thought, oh, well, those are cool. Like, I could make those as a gift to my friend in uh, Wisconsin who has a truck. Um, I got a free design with a deer on it that I think would look really cool. And then I got some towels from, I I do have a, a business license, so I can buy some things that's wholesale. I will when I do. <laughs> it's kind of, I'm a little nervous. I got to make sure I have the right ne needle to go through that. And that's another reason why I bought the um, 11 by 13, because it's bigger and I've got to get some clamps. But, but I, I, yeah, these machines are just like the Rakomas. Um, so we should be able to do just about anything we want. And so, uh, so I did buy some towels for uh, monogramming on through checkers. I have a, a wholesale license, so I can buy some things wholesale in the U.S. And I was very happy with this. These are very nice looking hand towels for monogramming. Some pink ones. I have some teal ones. And that's where I got the little moose from earlier. And let's see, what's this one? I guess it's a good thing I'm single. <laughs> If I was married, my husband would be saying, why are you doing this all the time? Spend time with me. And then I ordered these, which are supposed to be the old-fashioned one type. Oh, cool. Ah, has a little uh, thingy on it. And two, um, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you should say, honey, I'm trying to make money or save this money on, because I mean, you know, um, charging people for this stuff, you know, if you, they'll bring you a shirt and you're open to stitching, you know, $10 to stitch on their shirt. If you mess it up, you have to replace it. But, you know, that's still $10. And, you know, you might want to set up a fee for whatever the design might be or lettering, you know, depending how intense it is. And then um, my coworker also uh as a design that came in and i'm actually having it digitized so that's the first i want to learn that but not enough time uh so she her boyfriend uh has a business and so um 
this was the design, but they want it to fade into different colors. And I didn't know how to do that. And so uh, I'm having it digitized for the first time, uh, USA digitizer. So we'll, we'll see uh, how that goes. Really? It was $25 for that design. And then uh, I wanted just the words to match that said wet sand. And it was like a quarter inch. And they wanted to charge me $20 for that too as well. So it would have been $45. I said no on that. <laughs> so uh, is there somebody that you've used on, on there before? Yeah, definitely, because there I've found some designs I want to um, put up into um, appliques for shirts that uh, nobody has designs of those yet. So I'm trying to think outside of the box of what everybody else is doing and get new designs. And so all that stuff all plays into it. All right. There's the fishtail. Hang on, let me go. I am I'm going to put just a little bit of the water soluble on here. See if it really makes that much of a difference. No, I have not had any problems um, at all with my machine. It's just that I had problems bird nesting at the very beginning in tension. Um, but I worked through that. And then I had, just the other day, I had uh, issues with bird nesting. But that's because I neglected to clean out the throat plate um, where underneath the bobbin. Because if you don't clean that out once a month, it'll start not cutting and have issues but it, it runs very nice and it does a quality job that's really why i like this machine it's affordable uh if you anybody else wants one uh to deal with um louise is a little pushy but i've worked with uh yana yana i think that's how she says it and she is sweet and had been a big help when I was starting to have problems. The language barrier is the hardest part because my questions always didn't come out and she didn't always understand them. So it's gotten better, but that's the hard part. And she said, too, if they have a problem within the first year and they can't talk you through it, they'll send you a new machine. And then after that year, they have uh, engineers that will come in and um, – uh, a couple times a year, come in and, and work uh, with you. Too. But most of these commercial machines are very well able to maintain them yourself. They did send you a box with tools in them and parts. Um, so being mechanically inclined is a positive. Yeah, the, the hardest part is waiting for the machine. <laughs> and, you know, I bought my machine. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I just put out several thousand dollars. I'm like, is this a scam? Because I was looking at the Brother um, 10 needles, you know, and around here, just for a Brother hobby machine, they're $10,000. Oh, it's only $500. And I'm like, $500? 
And they, I says, can I see pictures? And they sent pictures and I'm trying to compare. And I'm like, of course they didn't want to go through Ali, uh, Baba, Ali Baba's site. And I'm like, nah. And then that's when I found uh, the buy uh, machine and purchased it. But yeah, it's like, hey, is it ever going to get here? And you know, it gets about halfway through the month. I'm like, Donna, is it, where is it? You know, and of course you can't track it very well because it's coming over on a boat. And so, and then it's like it came, they called and scheduled the time for them to deliver it. And it came in that big crate. And I'm like, yes, it's here. And so uh, I'm ecstatic. I love it. And I'm excited that as, um, As we, as I grow, I'll do better, you know, and you guys watching me and supporting me, it just makes me happy and excited that I can help others um, because, you know, as business people, I think we need to support each other and not tear us down. Well, there's enough money for everybody to be made because you may do something that someone likes and I may do something that somebody else likes. And so there's always enough business for everybody and if we can grow and learn together what doesn't that make it better you know so yeah definitely does look better with the uh wash away for the tail um but it has small designs i should have thought about that that's okay. I'm sure my niece will love it. But yeah, I there's I like to watch the embroidery nurse. She's really good, and of course I uh, I do stalk her <laughs> SD to see what she's got going on and and try and get see what she's doing because she's successful. We should emulate people that are successful. And so she's got something going on, but SD's not an easy, the uh, ESO is the hardest part. Trying to get this and that um, is the hardest part. Let's see, I'm trying to think, waiting for that to get done. It took longer than I was expecting. Sonia, where do you, you live? You here in the U.S.? Orleans. Nice. All right. Puppy just ran by. You want to come say hi? Come on. Okay. Say hi. Yeah, this is San this is Sandy. My baby. My other baby's gonna graduate high school. <laughs> yeah. So life is gonna change around here real soon. Going to college and oh. Love my daughter dearly, but it is a challenge. Teenagers. Hello. Yeah. I know. Well, let's see. We've got 22,000 stitches down out of 33,000.
So how many of you have done have other machines for my um, embroidery and stuff? No, oh, yes, awesome. Yeah, email me anytime with questions. Uh, it's Katie Lynn's Creations at Yahoo. I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. If you have questions, I've helped lots of people, and I love it that people are saying, "Hey, Lynn, I appreciate it." Oh, nice. Yeah, I actually have a, that's, I have a FAFT as well, FAFT. I think it might be the same as yours. Yeah. And, um, but I got this <laughs> and I didn't play with that as much because I wanted to learn this. And so, I, so I have that as, as well. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So Scrap and Diva, do you have a SD shop? Or sell on other platforms? <laughs> well, it's a nice machine. It sews very nicely. Um, I uh, use it because uh, I had a, a my mom's verbena from 1998 or something like that, and it's starting to kind of break down. She passed away several years ago, um, and so I inherited it, and so I want to keep it running as long as possible. And the last time I had it fixed, they said that it's going to last leg and I'm like no so I did very little on that and so I ended up buying the bath so that I could do more sewing on that um, I'm working on a quilt for my nephew um, which that I want to I also have a long arm quilting machine but I want I've also seen where people are actually doing uh, long arm end to end on the embroidery uh, machine so that's another thing I want to do there's just too many things. Thank you. Um, there's just too many things I want to try. <laughs> so, like, ooh, ooh. so you need to stay focused. You know, make yourself a list and uh, go that way. That way you can kind of like, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to learn or stuff like that. Well, with my coworkers right now, I, I, it's like, uh, if they just bring me the towels, I have three towels to do for my coworker. Um, I'm charging like $8, but the public, I'm going to charge 10 because that's just if they bring me the item and there'll probably be a setup fee for the, the design. If it's a design where you have to put a design and a name, there'll be a setup fee for that. It just all depends on what you're doing and um but or if they have it professionally done then you know they'll just i'm not gonna mark it up on them i'm just gonna say this is what it cost me then that but yeah because if they bring their stuff you still make money you know a shirt that may take you 15 minutes and you made ten dollars that's not bad for 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes of your time pooping it uh, unless you mess up and make a hole in it, then it's going to cost you. But um, I know some people buy charge so much by a minute. But I talked to another lady that um, 
was asking me about the, the, the machine and she wanted information and she was saying that she charges people can bring stuff and she charges ten dollars per monogramming and I'm like, well that sounds like a, a deal to me. So got a trim of thread that I okay. So let's see. I'm gonna take and put and then of course I do watch Rakoma videos because they they do put out good stuff to learn from because it is pretty much there might be a few differences and stuff. I know I got more hooping stuff and, uh, you know, with my machine, I don't, I think like the um, shoe uh, device for clipping shoes to sew on uh, tennis shoes uh, came with my machine. And I, I think that's extra with Rakoma. Uh, so that was another nice thing about the machines. You get, I got a lot to start with. It's enough to start a business. Yeah, I've heard charge by the stitch too, but you know, you've got 33,000 stitches that adds up really, really quick. And, you know, if, but, you know, if you are doing like, say you have somebody that wants a monogram on four different things, and it takes you 15 minutes. You got that design set up. So 10, 20, 30, 40, right there is $40 in an hour. So you got to kind of look at, you know, what the, I if you are supplying the item, the shirt or not, that plays into your pricing. And it's like the shirts that I sold on SD, I've sold two of them. Now I pay five, 50, I think, for the shirt, and I sold it for 25 Well, then you have your shipping, because I get free shipping at this point, trying to get customers. And um, so, you know, I don't make as much, but trying to build up um, clientele is always takes uh, time. I think that turned out pretty good. Um, I think the name's okay without the wash away, but with this design, definitely want the wash away on the ink rent uh, details. It would definitely stand up better. I don't know. Let me see if you can see. I'll show you. This side, I put the water soluble on there. And this side, I did not. I think this side looks better. Um, Let's see. It took an hour for that design. So it is a bigger design. But, you know, if I can sell that for $25... Twenty-five, maybe twenty-eight dollars. <throat> Five dollars for the towel, SD fees. Uh, I would still probably make about fifteen dollars an hour, possibly. So, okay. So now let's see. I've got to get. I've got this ready to go for my monogramming so let's see i gotta gotta get some power all right give me just a minute how much power do i got okay give me a second we'll go over here be calm man because i've got to change the arms on this to get that back to normal so I want to have to get my plug. I'll be right back. 
Plug back in here. Sorry, guys. Okay. So now that um, that one is done, I've got to take off the arm here. So, little wrench thing here. And I'm going to move this just a little bit. So I go over here to manually hit this. I can hit uh, six. It'll move it over so it's out of the way when I'm working back here. Sorry for looking at my back. Well, after this design gets done, I'll probably sign off and stuff. I gotta get two dogs fed. My daughter got a dog too, but she's a little bit hyper. Um, and uh, I didn't want her out here while I was filming. It goes to their dinner time. I, I think that's another reason why I like embroidery. It fascinates me when I watch how it comes, the design will come alive after it gets so far. Start to see it come alive, and you're just like, that looks so cool. Uh, no, I didn't say how much it costs, but it. Um, it's about four thousand dollars, depending on what size you get. Uh, if you got uh, and shipping, so uh, with shipping, it comes door to door. Um, so about four thousand. But if you get a bigger one that has a bigger sewing area, like the five hundred by eight, it's probably going to be five or six thousand dollars. It just all. All the pins. Be good. I thought I just heard a noise, unusual noise. So I'm like, Wee! 
that I got some strings I gotta cut here, so. All right. No, it's not. I mean, you know, it, you, you said you had a Melco. They're like, when I looked at them, they were asking 15000 So, um, and you get a lot with the machine. You know, you get a big frame. Uh, all the, those uh, hoop frames, and then there's some other ones. I do have a video on what I got with mine. You know, I got, yeah, so, that's why I started looking because it's like I really want a, a multi needle. Not that I don't like my single needle, but you know, production wise, one thread at a time, it adds up. And so I'm like, okay, there's got to be a better solution. And yeah, and if you do decide to buy, talk, I do have her contact information in that video. Yana, Yana. I, I hope I don't bend her, but she's sweet. She's not going to be pushy. Now you talk to Lise. Lise is very pushy. Um, but she'll give you all the information you need. They'll tell you. And if you tell her that I referred you, I do get a little bit of a bonus. It's not a lot. But um, it's definitely, I'm, I'm very happy with the machine. Especially, you know, when you're a small business, capital's a big thing, you know, to have all this stuff. I mean, my long arm machine, <laughs> I refinanced my house and it was $12,000. And uh, I didn't want to have to put out another big chunk of money for an embroidery machine. All right, well, we are getting close to being done with this one. I think it takes about 15 minutes. So there you go. If you do four bibs at 15 minutes. Uh, no, I do. I can do. I can edit designs. I have a program called So What Pro. It cost me $65. Now, I did get the program that comes that they sell. Um, but I don't have it. There's it's no, it's not very good instructions on how to do it and I don't have time, but I do want to learn how to digitize because there's big money to be made in that because if you can digitize the design and it shows out well, you know, once it's done, sell it for $5. $5 every time you sell it, that is your um, passive income. And so, but then I've also thought about if you have a design that you want to have digitized, have it digitized professionally and still sell it because it's yours, you paid for it, it's your rights, then um, you could still sell it. If you sold it four times, paid for it and stuff, if it's cute enough to sell. So I think I'm, I'm looking into trying that. I haven't quite, I've got some uh, cute little graphic uh, girls that I think would be really cute with the one's got a hat on and dress up high heels and um, so, but yeah, I wish I could digitize, but that's, uh, another to do when I retire, <laughs> which is still another 10 years away, unless the business starts to take off. I tried the, I tried the, uh, sample of Hatch. I, it seemed pretty easy. But like I said, time-wise, it, it's hard. Um, 
to have time because if you're going to post stuff on on SD, you've got to get your description, have to take good pictures, and then um, so that takes time. And if you have other sites, like I'm trying to get Square set up because you can post things on Square, uh, Facebook, you connect it, and so all the social media and stuff is time consuming. <laughs> all right, well, we are almost done with this design, ladies and gentlemen. I'm off, and then I do a little lighter trick to make sure that they're um, sealed pretty good. And I just take, once I've got them trimmed, just take um, a lighter over it so that they're pretty much melted down and stuff. And then um, I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to put a uh, tender touch on the back because if the baby happened to be wearing it without a shirt on, it might be scratchy. And so you might consider putting that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a secretary. But my, I try to get my daughter, my best friend, I've been trying to get her to do it. I've showed her a couple times, but she just kind of not falling through real well. But anyway, so ladies and stuff, this is the design. So, um, but I just think that's adorable. I guess I'll just shut that off and maybe it's a little better that way. There we go. Sorry about the light. Anyway, so I appreciate you guys watching and sticking with me and asking me questions. It, it is, isn't it? And then the the little um, the boy style one with the buffalo on it. I'm gonna do that with the rope on it, and it's gonna be in a um, just a C with like a, a teal or a rusty color and a brown rope and stuff. So. Um, yeah, I have too much fun doing this. <laughs> so, but I appreciate you guys again. Thank you. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, but yeah, if you do have any questions, anything that you want to know or want to learn, I'll do my best. It may take me a little bit, but I will do what I can. And I'm going to try and work on some other videos um, when I can. 